What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. I am going to Japan, Osaka. <clears throat> Currently at Changi Airport around 12.30 a.m. and having some mala wonton noodles because I'm hungry. She's not. Anyway, she just created a Telegram channel. <laughs> Please go and subscribe to her. <laughs> Looks really good. I'm not sure. It is good and I thought you know it's gonna be a little bit more expensive in the airport but it's only $7.90 I mean $7.90 which is around the same as you know outside hawker center so no surprise by the price Tintin noodle. What do you like? Food death, food death. S stealing. <laughs> okay, the main ingredient of this dish is actually the one Oma. <laughs> <laughs> there goes my chopstick skills. I'll be back, guys. Oh no! So that was an epic feel. Good spoon. Hello. is a little bit too hot in my opinion but nice currently inside 7-eleven to get some snacks for our nine hour flight to Osaka Okay, after having that bowl of noodle, I think I need something sweet. Not gonna be coffee. I'm gonna drink some milk tea. Can I get some tea? tea. Milk tea. Alright. Two dollars. Two dollars. Uh, take away. Wow, that's a big one. Oh my god. Now, 
That is why Changi Airport is one of the best airports in the world. They have a bloody pond inside the airport and it looks beautiful and very clean. Currently just finish up some work, finishing up some work before I go offline for the next nine hours. So yeah. I used to think that this is just annoying, but as I grow older and yeah, learn to love the job that I love. I think this is pretty normal, you know, you have to do what you have to do and get things done so that, you know, everything else will go smoothly, everything will be operationalized smoothly, so, yeah, this is it, by the way, this tea is just next level, it's, it's better than most of the hawker center tea, and yeah, The taste of the tea, the sweetness, the milk. It's all just, you know, very well balanced. Five star. So this have to be one of my favorite and one of the best things in Singapore is the toilets and the cleanliness. How I wish Myanmar is like that. How I wish. Cheers. So I honestly hate traveling to this big country with my Burmese passport because yeah, I'm on the special list and they have to check my visa and everything else and yeah, return flight and so on and so forth. It's just annoying sometimes but yeah, it is what it is given the fact that my country situation is bad. So yeah, the situation the security is a little bit tight yeah. well nice oh boy.
each day. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah for uh, the Lipa a lot. A lot of options. <laughs> luggage and all I might have to come back here again to you know really explore the place but it's a nice walk without the night uh, without the luggage will be better all right Since we can't check in to our Airbnb, which is in 40 minutes, we're just gonna walk around the neighborhood and you know enjoy this peaceful neighborhood. 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 <laughs> neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> it's so quiet out here. All right. Let's just find our vending machine, drink some coffee, and kill some time. Ooh. 
Uh, we are going to drink coffee later. Later? Later. Yeah, later. No, I want to say later, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I stopped. Yeah. Alright, found one. This is the big one. Yeah. Want I want the small one, one, the 60 one. yen one. Done. My eyes look very tired now. Yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. Okay, let's try. <laughs> Alright, so this is bedroom one. I think there are like five. Five rooms. Fridge. Cooking area. Three sharing basins. Nice. <laughs> Where's the washing Bathtub one. I think there's a bathtub two. Bedroom number two. All right, very cozy. This is the way to Naya. Heaven. <laughs> okay, let's go up. Okay, small staircase leading to another room, I believe. Let's see. Oh my god. Ooh, one person bedroom. This is good. This will be the smoking area or the coffee area. Alright, finally done unpacking. I think we're gonna be staying at this Airbnb for the next four days. This will be our home. And yeah, I was just preparing some content ideas for later on yes you know taking out all my things yeah and doing like a travel essential video so yeah kind of wasted around one and a half hour the digital lock wasn't you know working at all uh, mainly because battery low battery and then the the hunch is a little bit down so it can't lock properly or unlock properly so that's just a you know that's what it comes with travel i guess but yeah almost day one almost like half of the day is gone even though we landed here in osaka around 12 but yeah six hour gone just traveling eating and yeah nothing really haven't really done anything but it was a nice walk around the neighborhood beautiful beautiful um, neighborhood very quiet and peaceful i'm not sure every place of japan is like that i doubt tokyo is like that i'm not a big fan of tokyo um yeah love this neighborhood so far later we're gonna be going to don tomburi i think that's just uh, another tourist attraction which i've been to but yeah the previous visit that i've been to i was broke I couldn't eat a lot of the things that I want to eat so yeah my goal is to you know eat everything and anything that I can you know fit inside my stomach so yeah gonna be exciting I'm just gonna wash up um, and then head out later on bring you guys along I think this is gonna be a very very long vlog very long video but yeah day one in Japan <laughs> <laughs> 